What's up, Wolfpackers? On IG, I asked you guys to vote which way you wanted this one reviewed. By a very slim margin, live stream review got defeated. So without further ado, I bring you the GameStop exclusive, Cal Kestis Deluxe. Stick around, Wolfpackers. Wolf Packers, it's your boy Wolf Doggy Dog. We got another review for you guys today. Today we've got for you guys GameStop exclusive Cal Kestis based off the video game Jedi Fallen Order. Check this game out, guys, if you haven't played it yet. It's kind of a. Ah! 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 Assassin's Creed in a Star Wars universe. I picked this one up for $20 at GameStop. Check it out, you might still be able to get it at that price. Now, Cal Kestis is played by Cameron Monaghan, a really good actor, one of my favorites. You might remember him from shows like Shameless. The business side of it, online multiplayer gaming is the future. I read all about it in a magazine. Think you'd be any good at it? And he also played the Joker in Gotham. Just being polite. That's what she in for. Killing my parents. <sighs> Me too. You might not even remember, but he was in Click with Adam Sandler. Actually, we're playing some drop, because Ben hasn't caught one yet. Darn it. <laughs> ah! That's gotta hurt. Let's check out the box art. Here we see the side art. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that. It's blue, so that's going with anything video game based. Side window, not a whole lot. You see the logo for the gaming greats. Back art, back art is where it's at, guys. That looks just like them. Top of box, you get a preview window. as the barcode if you're still trying to track them down. Like I said before, guys, GameStop exclusive. Now we got a release of him about a year ago with, uh, I would almost call it the basic, the basic form. Now this one comes loaded with all kinds of accessories. Spoiler alert, he's got his master's lightsaber, as well as a boggin. We'll get to the boggin in just a little bit. Comes with the hood, a Jedi holocron, alternate skin for his droid B1, and then he himself is also wearing alternate clothes. You know what it is, guys. We don't collect boxes, we collect figures out here. The hoodie. Jedi Holocron. Really good detail in this. I like the way the translucent plastic really shines when the light hits. Calcesta's lightsaber. In game, you can do a lot of customizing to it, so this isn't a fixed lightsaber. You will be changing it up in game. We've got his master's lightsaber. We've got a slight difference in this double-bladed lightsaber as opposed to dark vision rays where rays can bend. This one cannot. Come on out, little critter. This is a boggin. They lay eggs and have fur. They burrow. The kids call them a Eevee. Alternate skin B1. B1 comes to us with five points of articulation. His head is on a ball swivel. He has swivel at the hips and then single joints at the knees. Calcast disguise, the one everyone's here to see. The hoodie on the poncho has a really tiny peg to lock into the back and make it lock in like it's supposed to go there. Thoughts on the head scope? Is that Cameron Monaghan? Comment below. And with that, guys, let's get this guy into the studio and see what it do. Deuces. Back 
in the studio, guys. We've got Cal Kestis up for display. Now, he came in a $29.99 deluxe box. Are the items in front of you worth it, or are you going to be sticking with the $19.99? That one was actually a pass for me, but once I started playing the game, it became a no-brainer for me. Get this figure. The Jedi Holocron comes with tons of detail all around, and then when the light hits, oh man, does the light hit. If I had to say a downside on this, it doesn't fit in Cal Kesta's hand. So maybe like grooves or something for it to fit into his hand. Only downside I have to say about the Jedi Holocron. The hood is nice. I like that they included it. They didn't have to, but they did. While it's a little bulky and looks funny on his head, it is, it's just a good change of pace in case you're tired of having him in that view. What would a Star Wars story be without cute merch to sell to the kids? This is called a Boglin. Furry, scaly, I don't know, lays eggs. Uh, you'll come across them a lot during the games. Making a new friend? No articulation on this, so essentially it's just a statue, but it's kind of cool. You kind of just pose them. If you were to army build, that, that would look kind of cool because they're kind of like pack animals. B1 was a favorite character of mine in the game, and I really like how they got this one right. They gave him a ball joint head, so he can go up and down, as well as give you a 360 swivel. There's no articulation with the antennas. What I do like is that they gave us open hips, so he can go wide. It's not just an up and down. B1 can spread it open that far, and sky's the limits for how far you want him to kick forward and kick back. There's even articulation at the knee, so you can bend forward that way or even bend back that way. Really good scoped all the way around. I love the molding. I love the paint decos that they did on the eyes or windows. Kel Kestis in poncho form looks really cool. Nothing too bad on the paint schemes. I like how through the poncho you can see some of his work gear. Nice touch, nice feature, as well as even being able to see the strap heading up. Good detail on the comm link, as well as one gloved hand and one plain hand. So let's talk about the hoodie. That's hoodie down. This will be with the hoodie off and just the collar. The hoodie has a small little peg ports in at the back of the neck. While this isn't my favorite look on him, in game he travels from planet to planet, different environments, so I like the feature. I wouldn't be surprised if down the line, maybe in a two pack or a three pack, we get another Cal Kestis with an alternate poncho or something like that without the poncho the neck doesn't look extremely extremely large let's take off the poncho for the sake of the articulation from certain angles the neck doesn't look ridiculous but i could see why they lengthened it it has to stick out of the poncho and still look natural we do get double articulation from the bottom as well as the top camera monahan can look that far up cal kestis can look that far down the neck can go 360, as well as the head. Real cool feature that I like, they gave us butterfly joints. Butterfly joints on Star Wars Black Series is always a plus. Full 360 at the shoulders, can click that high up, and single jointed at the elbows. You get swivel with the left hand, as well as up and down, or trigger hand articulation. I'm not much of a customizer, but they gave us almost trigger finger hands, so what I did was take the Wolfpack Official X-Acto knife and just kind of cut in to separate the index finger from the rest of the hand and give that trigger finger look to him. It adds versatility to the character, so if he doesn't make your Star Wars diorama, you might be able to squeeze him in somewhere else. Give it a try. Upper diaphragm rocker, so he can go full 360 on you. No waist swivel. I like the uh, belt with the loops. Kind of shows, you know, he's a, he's a worker. On his original planet, he was a worker. So good detail with the torch as well as the screwdriver and things like that. Double jointed at the knees. Can't kick his own butt. No calf swivel. Clicks up that high. Down that high. As well as a full 360 at the ankles. He does come with foot pegs at the bottom as well as Lego mumble jumbo. Cal Kestis kicks that far up. That far back, we do get a thigh swivel. And Cal Kestis can spread it open that far. Size comparison time. You know what's up. Here we have him with a few of the baddies he'll be going up against in the game. 
Electro Staff, Purge Trooper, and Scout Trooper with the Exo Wand. Some more baddies you'll go up against in the game. Imperial Stormtrooper, as well as Remnant Stormtrooper. Jedi Fallen Order takes place five years after Order 66, so there's a very good chance the three of these could be hanging out somewhere. Here we've got them next to the Wolfpack official measuring tape, as well as a 10-ounce bottle of Tapatio, 296 milliliters for our UK friends. We'll